to do chord spelling, we're going to use the one, third, fifth, and seventh scale degree of the major scale we're in. In this case, we're in C major scale, so I'm going to start with the first of C major, which is a C, then the third, fifth, and a seventh. Twelve. To make a minor seven, I go first, third, fifth, seventh. However, I've got to flatten the third and seventh, like so. And on the last chord, a dominant seven chord, I'm going to do the first, third, fifth, seventh. On the dominant chord, you only need to flatten the seventh. Nice. So as long as you know the what key you're in and the the, the, the first, third, and fifth, and seventh of any key, you can chord spell. Inversions of the major seventh chord. Like before, you have to use the one, three, five, seven. Look how good that three looks. Of the of C major, so we're going to go C, E. One, three, five, seven. But in chords, you don't have to have them in any particular order. So I could go like this. That would be a first inversion. Or I could do like this. Same with Joe, shut up. And I could do like this. Or I could do this one here. Like this. When you need to work out the chord, press the laser pointer this time, you need to come back so it's all in thirds. See, this one's in thirds. These ones aren't in thirds. So come back to this one, and the bottom note of this one in thirds has to be the root note. Goodbye.